Today, I want to talk about the top five reasons to move to a 55 plus community in Arizona. Now, I know there are a lot of different places that a lot of you guys are checking out. I do talk to people that say, oh, we are only coming to Arizona. Other people are comparing different states. So I want to give you an idea of what the communities in Arizona have to offer and the five reasons that you might want to come here. So stick around and we'll get started right now. So if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Sean Jardine. I'm a local real estate broker, 32 years in the business and about eight-ish of those years here in Arizona. So I know the 55 plus communities as does my team. We are showing properties there nearly every single day to you guys. So please reach out to the number below on the screen if you'd like more information after watching this video. When we're talking about the top five reasons that you'll want to move to a 55 plus community in Arizona, there are a few different things and probably a lot more than five, but I'm just going to hit the top five obvious things. A lot of you I know are comparing between maybe Texas and Arizona, or you're looking at Florida or, you know, Nashville, lots of different options out there for 55 plus, but I know Arizona. So that's what we'll talk about. Number one on the list, location. Arizona has always been a fantastic place for retirees. My gosh, my grandparents who are long since gone used to come here starting like in the 60s. I think in those days, the 55 plus communities were basically trailer parks where people came for a few months out of the year. Um, they didn't have air conditioning. People just came down here and soaked up the heat. Um, summer and winter, but my grandparents would come, I think probably in the winter and stay for a few months and then go back home to Colorado. No community amenities or not the big stuff that we have now, but why were they coming? Weather, climate is fantastic here. You're going to have average temperatures in the seventies all winter long. Now, some of the other places you might be looking at, you need to look at what are the winter temperatures might be surprising. Now, if you're thinking about things like access to healthcare, this is a great location. We've got Mayo Clinic, we've got Banner Health, lots of large health networks and specialty care. So if you get cancer or you need a transplant, those facilities are here. Healthcare is extremely important. And I want you to know that you'll be well taken care of. The other thing about location is, hey, we're a big city of four plus million people and growing every day. What does that give you? Big city amenities. You've got pro sporting events. You've got a very convenient large city airport. So you can get anywhere you want to go domestically or even internationally. If you want to go nonstop to the UK, you can do that. If you want to go to Hawaii, you can do that. Not without taking a bunch of little small regional jets and, you know, puddle jumpers, you can easily get to where you want to be. Now let's talk about item number two, maintenance. Homes in Arizona versus other place tend to be pretty low maintenance. We have stucco exterior versus old school siding that needs to be painted every few years. I was looking at some 55 plus um, communities last night actually in Florida. Everything I saw was in a reasonable price range at least, that's where I was looking. It was all regular masonite siding. That needs a lot of paint. When you've got the sun in Florida beating down on that, you're going to have to repaint. The stucco can be repainted, but it's a long time in between paint jobs. The other thing that we don't have a lot of here, and I think it's good, grass. So that means you're not mowing grass anymore or you're not paying guys to mow. Now, some communities will have some grass, for instance, in parts of Sun City, but your HOA takes care of that. Everybody else will have generally a rock front yard, maybe with a little turf, depending on your neighborhood, with desert style plants. Maybe if you have a pet, you might put some fake turf in the backyard for them to run out and not have to walk on the rocks all the time, but still all very, very low maintenance. What does that do? It controls your expense 
for having people doing yard care every week or so. You know, when you when you have a desert yard, it might be once a month that some guys will come and trim and blow and pick up um, some extra debris. But you're not going to have a big water bill either. Maybe a little drip system, and that's what it does. It drips. It's not like you're pouring water onto Kentucky bluegrass. That is just a waste really and if you're over 55 your lawn mowing days I'm hoping you're like me those days are behind you you don't want to be spending your Saturday running the lawnmower the other thing you won't have as far as maintenance is any kind of gutter cleaning um, sometimes I have clients who say well where are the rain gutters well, they're back in your hometown because we don't have enough rain to warrant having gutters. Do you remember all those times you had to climb up on a ladder and spray out the gutters? Even though you had that wire mesh, it didn't quite keep all the debris out. We just don't have that here. So one more exterior maintenance thing that you do not have to deal with in the Arizona lifestyle. And especially when you're in a 55 plus community, you don't want to be hassling with that. Now, the next thing is amenities and activities. I've kind of combined two things into one here. We could say three and four um, really are together, but I'll talk about them all at once. Amenities are what most people are looking for in their 55 plus community. Now we do have a lot of smaller 55 plus communities here with lower fees for people who maybe don't want all of that activity going on. Maybe you don't want to go to ceramics or art or pickleball. You just want a community where everybody might be about your age. We have those communities, but for those of you who have worked hard all your life and you've been just itching to get out and have some fun, we have communities with mega, mega activities. Things like um, Pebble Creek, 22 pickleball courts. So lots and lots of pickleball to be played in these neighborhoods. You've also got tennis, although I will say that the pickleball people are kind of crowding out the tennis people, sorry. Um, but pickleball seems to be winning. You'll have um, outdoor swim classes. You'll have yoga. You'll have, you know, get togethers of people from your home state. So you can talk about your favorite restaurants back in where you came from. Um, so you will have lots of things to do, lots of places to go within the community. These larger communities will have their own restaurants, they'll have their own coffee shop where you can go every day, and they all have at least one rec center where you can go do a workout, you can go you know, sit and play board games, or just meet people. The amenities and the activities are a big, big draw. The other cool thing that I think these communities have, maybe you're not one to play pickleball, maybe you're a little more sedentary, there are concerts and theater events. A lot of the larger communities will have a dedicated theater. Will they, they'll have a wonderful concert or maybe an outdoor concert when the weather is nice. So those are things you can just go to a lot of times free of charge hang out, take a blanket, sit on the lawn, and enjoy maybe a Bee Gees cover band or something, you know, um, a fun thing to do on a Friday evening. They also will have trips and tours. So let's say maybe you're single or if you're a couple and you don't want to hassle uh, with driving through big traffic in another destination, you can sign up for the bus tour and for a low fee, go to the Rose Parade in Pasadena. I've seen those trips offered in several different communities. What a cool thing. You don't have that back where you're at. You, it would be hard to find 40 or 50 people at one time that want to go on a bus to the Rose Parade. But when you're in a 55 plus community, very, very active. A few years ago, I was up um, for a little trip with a friend in Alaska and we were getting on a train and I saw all of these people getting on the train wearing windbreakers that were all alike. So I went up and I said, who are you people? Oh, they were from a large 55 plus community down in Florida. And I thought at the time, wow, that sounds really cool. They all got to go on a trip together, but somebody else took care of the details. So that's something that you might enjoy. A 55 plus community in Arizona is definitely worth checking out. 
activities and amenities are definitely going to be there. It just depends on the level of those activities and amenities that you're looking for. The other thing I want to talk about on the activity side is activities outside of the gates. Now, keep in mind, when I use the term the gates, I'm not always saying that it's a guard gated um, controlled neighborhood. When I say the gates, I mean outside the boundaries. Maybe that's what I should use, but I like to say gates. It sounds like we're more exclusive. But outside the boundaries of your neighborhood or your community, there is going to be a lot of stuff to do. Again, Phoenix is a big, big city, so we get Broadway quality shows. We get pro sporting events. Hiking is all over town. You can have amazing hiking trails, or you could take a day trip up to Sedona. It's, gosh, an hour and a half away from Phoenix. So who wouldn't want to just drive up there, take a nice hike, or cruise through the shops and galleries, have a nice lunch at one of the restaurants, and then drive back. The day trip destinations here are fantastic. So lots of outdoor things to do and short little driving trips. The other thing that's pretty basic in almost every community, and it happens in mine, every day, four o'clock, the walkers come out. And why four o'clock? Well, in the wintertime, it's still dark here, you know, 7.30, 8, 8 o'clock. So they're not going on a long walk early, early in the morning. But in the summertime, Early morning walking is very, very common. Everybody is up and out at 5 a.m. The minute the sun comes out, you take your dog out and you get your daily exercise. But bottom line, the weather here is generally two temperatures, warm and warmer. So you'll have plenty of time to be outside and be very, very active. Even if it's not organized, you can go out and take a walk. You can go take a run. You can drive to a trailhead and have a really nice hike just within, you know, 15, 20 minutes away. Really a cool feature of being in Arizona versus some other states. Now, number five, since I combined three and four there, is going to be community. Why wouldn't you just move to Arizona and park yourself in a regular neighborhood? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because you want to be with like-minded people who are similar age to you. I'll give you a good example. My sister and her husband are about to turn 55 and they're coming from Colorado to Arizona. They've known each other their entire lives. They actually met in kindergarten and they've had the same friends, not all their friends, obviously they've picked up a few new ones along the way, but a lot of their friends they've known since grade school and junior high. So one of their concerns in moving to Arizona, which is where our whole family pretty much lives now, was how will we make friends? They didn't want to hang out with my friends or my brother's friends. They wanted to get their own friends. Well, where is the best place to do that? I'll tell you where. It's in a 55 plus community. So they have already made their visit. Their house is under construction. They can't wait to get here, start joining groups, meeting the people on their street and going to events so they can form their own new tribe, essentially. I think for a lot of people, that's a big deal. Now, some of you call me and say, I don't care. I, I don't need to meet people. Maybe you'll like the library, or maybe you'll just want to sit in your courtyard and drink iced tea and watch other people walk their dogs. Either way, I think that these are all really amazing reasons for anybody to move to Arizona. I think the 55 plus community idea is just the icing on the cake. So if you'd like any more information on our local options for 55 plus communities, we have a ton of them. We have them in the West Valley, in the East Valley, um, to the north, to the south, they are everywhere. It's just a matter of which one you might like and what your price range is. So please reach out to me at the number below on the screen. Give me a call or send me a text. I love hearing from my YouTube family. So let's try to talk very soon and I'll get you all of the details.